Good afternoon, Mayor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody here. My name is Richard. Last name is Paso. I'm a store manager at an automotive facility here in Chicago. I'm a native to Chicago. It's near and dear to my heart. The city doesn't feel the same anymore. There's a lot of stuff going on right now that's really hard to process. There's a lot of people here that have watched me on social media. I'm a social media influencer. I've heard the word getting back to me. Some of the people that worked for you have gotten stuff back to me. I'm going to say what I have to say regardless. You can come after me if you want. You can try to slander me if you want. Some of the aldermen can talk behind my back if you want. But there's 31 out of 50 aldermen, December 14th, that turned their back on the public that said, I will not take their vote on this city continuing to be a sanctuary city. You turned it to yourself to speak for us. You turned it to yourself to speak for the public. We pay you, you work for us. We put you there. How can you stand there and say anything about, we don't want to take their vote. We're going to speak on their behalf, and this is how it's going to be. It shouldn't work that way. Any politician that feels like they deserve that type of control over people, they don't deserve to be politicians. They don't deserve to be in the spot that they're in. Second of all, I'm a veteran. I served 15 months in a war zone for this country where I got hurt. Yes, I, the VA does take care of me, but every year I'm hearing, let's take away, let's take away, let's take away, let's give back, let's take away, let's give back. But we have immigrants that serve with us, that put their life on the line, that are still fighting for citizenship, that are in the military, that deserve all the respect in the world, and they don't get it. They come back, they're still fighting for citizenship, some of them don't get it, they get deported. These are people that put their life on the line for this country, for all of you to have the freedom and the jobs that you have, and they don't get the respect to have somebody care for them and help them through the process. But all of you guys out here will vote for people that are complete aliens to this country, that have nothing. Trend Agua, Venezuela, any, anything coming from the Dominican, not, not Dominican, Honduras, all these people are coming here. They cleared out these prisons years ago. And they're sending all these people here. They don't want them there. They don't serve them a purpose. They're showing up here in New York, in Chicago, attacking people in the streets. The police are fighting with them in the, in the shelters that you guys are funding. You guys think it's a great idea, but yet your police officers are getting attacked. Your public's getting attacked. You're putting our lives at risk by doing what you're doing, and none of you care about it because the mighty dollar sits on top. And as long as somebody's in your pocket that you're working with, you're okay with doing it. You don't care about the citizens. At some point in time, there's going to be an answering for this. What it is, I don't know. But it doesn't look good. And I don't respect most of the people that are in here because you turned your back on the citizens and you said your voice doesn't matter.